The Rockford Peaches and women's baseball are synonymous. Brittany Tulis joins us live from Byer Field. Brittany, 75 years after the Peaches made their debut, a whole new generation of ball players is now on that field that they once called home. That's right, Eric and Mimi. Behind me, the girls have taken the field, and the parents are packing the stands to cheer them on in the Baseball for All All Girls National Tournament. Players and parents both tell me they don't know what they're more excited for playing where the Peaches played or being in a tournament surrounded by girls. It's incredibly important that it's held here, I think. Chris Berger's daughter is one of hundreds of players from across the U.S. and Canada participating in the largest all girls baseball tournament in the country. They've made the journey from Boston to participate, playing at Byer Stadium, the home of the Rockford Peaches. That even though it was 75 years ago, that these are still role models for these girls, that they were able to play baseball at a high level. And if they could do it then, these girls can be the next generation and do it now. It's like this is a wonderful city, and so far our experience has been very, very welcoming. Lucy O'Callaghan is from the state of Oregon. Like many others, they're visiting Rockford for the first time. It's our first time here, and uh, it's been interesting to drive around and uh, see the open roads and not as much traffic. Definitely not the city. Um, a lot of farming, and it looks like a town that has been well loved. Founder of Baseball for All, Justine Seagal, tells me the parents that haven't been to town before have at least heard of Rockford. All the parents I talk to about Rockford, you know, the first thing they think of is the Rockford Peaches and they say let's go. The Peaches are the reason so many are excited to travel from all parts of the country for the tournament. But during their downtime, families and players are finding fun things to do. It looks like there's a ton to do and of course my daughter's looking forward to going to the water park. What was green the green fire? Green, green fire, fire that yeah. Went to last yeah. Night. That, that was, was pretty, delicious. Pretty fantastic. Yeah. This is the second year Rockford has played host to the Baseball for All tournament. While being a great home base, Seagal hopes in the future Rockford has a home play or a home team to, to represent the city. Live in Rockford, Eyewitness News, Eric and Mimi, back to you. All right, Brittany, thanks for that report. Great to see such a huge turnout for that. And what a great day for it for Beautiful. the kickoff of that. Now, if you're looking